Have a good time, mother We're only a little hungry. Probably not gonna get too much food. Okay, so we got, we we just spent $94 at McDonald's. Yeah, we got 30, 94. 32 McChickens, 32 McDoubles. Here we go. Thick cut, thick cut. How much is this? Six bucks. Oh, we got how much? A pound. That's a pound? Or seven? Yeah, let's find the cheap bacon. Three for five dollars. Holy crap. Oh, turkey bacon. Ugh, disgusting. Dude, that's what they eat in Canada. Ugh. Here. Sick. Classic. How much is it? No, this is the no, but how much is it? Is this, a, is this a pound? Okay, let's just get cheddar. Okay, let's get a big block. Okay. Mild cheddar or medium cheddar? No, mild cheddar is not so. Is that enough? That's two pounds of cheese. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Make sure we get a cheddar. Ugh. Oh yes, Snapple, Cherry. Bacon, 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 bacon. We like literally got sixty dollars of bacon. Thirty-two spicy McChickens, thirty-two McDoubles, ten large fries, and a load of Big Mac sauce. <laughs> okay. Then we got a uh, ten pounds of bacon, a load of containers, two liters of soda. Um, what else did we get, Liam? Stop eating. <laughs> We're gonna eat more cock than the coach at Penn State. We're, we're gonna have a colony of food. Once upon a time, there was a colony of sandwiches. They thrived off their land, but one day there was a disaster. All the sandwiches died off except for two. They knew what they had to do, repopulate. As you can see, they left a trail of wetness because they were ready to mate. There were two alleles for patties, chicken and a hamburger. Also, they were co-dominant, so a heterozygous sandwich had both a chicken patty and a hamburger patty. They had four offspring, one with two hamburger patties, one with two chicken patties, and two with one of each. The two heterozygous sandwiches repopulated because they were attracted to each other while the others died out. This was their offspring. Oh, I forgot to mention, they got busy. The fact remained that only the heterozygous sandwiches were attracted to each other, so that there was a heterozygous advantage. Because of this, the whole population evolved to be heterozygous due to natural selection. However, temperatures got cold, and soon one mutation rose above the norm. A layer of hair kept this patty warm, and it lived to reproduce. As it goes with natural selection, the patties with hair survived to reproduce, and eventually the whole population had a layer of hair to protect them from the cold. A new species showed up on the island, known as bacon. The sandwiches did not want to eat the bacon, and they developed a symbiotic relationship. The bacon kept the sandwiches warm, while the sandwiches provided the bacon with a home. Because of this, over generations the sandwiches evolved with the bacon, so that the bacon fit perfectly with the sandwiches. However, after a few more generations, the sandwiches were cold beyond the point of function and needed to huddle together for warmth. Little did they know it was about to get very warm. I've just discovered a new species living on an island just off the coast of Australia. I call it Sandwiches McDonaldry. I'll send you a picture. Oh my goodness. This is a scientific breakthrough. What is this thing resting on the sandwiches? It's bacon. It developed a symbiotic relationship with the sandwiches, and it keeps the sandwiches warm. And what are those things resting under its bun? Is that hair? Yes, to keep it warm as well. Does it really need all that protection from the cold? Well, that's what I was calling you about. See, their climate was so cold that they ended up clinging to each other for their body heat. My god. Yes, the way things were going, they would have frozen to death if I hadn't found them. Well, good thing you found them then. Yes, well, the thing is I brought them back to my lab, but I couldn't save them. Their enzymes were beyond the point of function. Well then, there's only one thing left to do. Can you be at my house in 10 minutes? Yeah, and I'll bring company. Bacon strips. 
We have enough bacon to reassemble a pig. Into the soda. Try feeding your baby this. Oh my god. So, so. Oh, sh is it good? Oh my god.